the main objective of this conference was to bring awareness about the huge cases of blockchain for enhancing the productivity and solving the problems of public enterprises and the government and various issues society at large are facing which were to be solved by the government so that kind of awareness is being brought which is also trying to handle the issue of how the security can also be enhanced by using the public utilities and the digital infrastructure in the country my session and the session which i really came in here was for the whole area of how do you get talent human talent and develop talent in india so if you want to look at the whole web3 ecosystem and look at what the potential for the web3 ecosystem is there are multiple studies the nascom study says it can be a 1.1 trillion dollar industry by 2035 Arthur D little study talks about it being 10% of gdp by 2025 whatever baseline you take it's more than a 600 million to a 1.1 trillion dollar segment in industry but what is important about this segment is india could be leaders in web 1 and web 2 india were not the leaders in web 3 a lot of indian companies and a lot of indian startups are the leaders and we have the potential to lead the world in this we have 11% of the global manpower We have over 900 startups in India, and actually there are more. And there are many organizations uh, that are collaborating to, including BWA, with that I represent the Bharat Web3 Association, looking at creating an ecosystem that promotes the growth and development of the sector in India. It was basically designed on the public infrastructure utilities, and especially the huge cases in the digital infrastructure aligning to the G20 that was discussed. The one of the challenge in such type of uh, uh, events is basically finding out the good speakers deciding on the key topics and sub themes so we could ensure that there were no basically duplicacy among the various speakers whatever they are talking and the whole uh, coverage on all the topics is there so that we have achieved it was a quality audience quality speakers and the quality topics which we decided so i believe uh, to some uh, extra extent we have met that goal of course there is always a scope for the improvements depends on the use case of what you are talking about one is of course uh, building systems in industry where you need to look at the ability to track the value chain such as pharmaceuticals such as food processing in the whole decentralized finance defi uh, space to accelerate lending look at micro lending and micro borrowing so it's an entirely new uh, e- ecosystem there uh, you heard use cases today about trade finance basic fundamental of the web3 for us as individuals is allowing us to be able to create value for ourselves whether it's monetizing through getting nfts or monetizing through actually getting money for the time that we spend on the internet for the time that we spend on gaming the time that we spend on using different applications and the best use case is that we are not dependent on a, on a third party intermediary who you know monetizes our data but how do we look at keeping our data secure and going forward so it's a transformative agenda and you know india being a mobile first nation and a lot of indian spending time on the mobile it has the potential to create wealth by in the hands of everyone who has a mobile phone a smartphone and wants to, and has creative creative content to create and share like to tell how it is helping our country the great india for solving its issue and making an impact in the society actually blockchain is already being used in the health sector supply chain management also asset tokenization fintech as well as also in the government and main application has come out is for the land record registry and also in the public private projects by using smart contract the public private pro- partnership projects of the country can be actually Uh, run and completed more efficiently 
cost effectively and actually it can do away with the main problems of uh, PPP projects which are cost overrun, time overrun, litigation and uh, arbitration. With that lot of loss is happening to the nation. So blockchain by making use of smart contract can actually do away with all these uh, uh, limitations or shortcomings of PPP projects. Now the same thing we can take it outside also. Actually as you know our Prime Minister G20 goal is one earth, one family, one future. So we also want to say you can have one blockchain also. The one blockchain means it will be a single and uniform protocol of the blockchain which will also be fueled by the IPv6, the next generation internet where you have unlimited address spaces and India is the one country where 50% of the v6 users are there and this is the only country where IPv6 addresses are given free of cost. So with all these things, the same learnings can be taken outside also. Now we, we are already doing this with the BRIC nations and G20 also. Ultimately aim is that the same concepts which are delivering in India should also be used and adopted all over the world and with this G20 summit which is next week this will be showcased also for the invitees the countries which are coming here their heads of state are coming they will also be shown that this is what we have done with the blockchain and it can also be replicated in their own countries so it will go to the world and as for the vision of our prime minister like he will, he will like to have a one blockchain, a universal blockchain for everywhere. Our audience, they were very keen to learn. They asked a number of questions. They were very interactive and the speakers also enjoyed throughout the sessions whatever they have so it was a good session from my perspective we can have this type of events across india not only the one place we should go to the different regions and uh, since the broadband india forums a main objective is propagating the technology so we need to go to the different uh, regions and then i think we'll be able to achieve the better goal first of all they should not be afraid of the blockchain thinking that it is a technology, thinking that it is very complex, thinking that I have to be an engineer for that. Actually, that is what I have come out very clearly that you don't have to be an engineer. You don't have to be a computer scientist to understand blockchain and to make use of blockchain. So that has been given very clear. So anybody who wants to do anything with the blockchain can do it without any pre-qualification. Of course, there is a need for skilling, the skill building, awareness building, like this conference is a step in that direction. So there will be skilling required irrespective of what basic qualification you have. You just have to have a passion for the blockchain or interest for the blockchain. It can help you to actually uh, upgrade your skills, upgrade your knowledge and also you can become more employable if you want a job or you can become a job giver. You can start a company, a startup and by using blockchain, lot of uh, requirement is there, lot of small, small problems have to be solved by this blockchain technology and anybody can take the plunge and there are various government schemes. Morning, the guest of honor from STPI mentioned that they are a COE, Center of Entrepreneurship. So anybody can go there and he can get mentored, he can get space free of cost, and he can get seed funding also. So that is what people should uh, the, take from here and uh, uh, make use of these facilities or these offering or these schemes of the government. So and then th there is a need for skilling and there is no dearth of trainers or skilling people. 
only thing is you have to find where they are and our forum blockchain for productivity forum have a list of that few of our board members themselves want to start a skilling project and anybody can learn even the school kids can learn the dropouts of college can learn blockchain and make a career or a business out of blockchain so this is what i want the uh, attendee or the delegates to take away and make use of the huge opportunity the blockchain is bringing as i mentioned in the morning also anybody who is actually a white collar job and he is afraid that his job may go away he should adapt blockchain as a skill and as i mentioned he will become what is called a gold collar worker and he will generate wealth for the nation and for himself because blockchain is a internet of wealth and i have called it internet of owned wealth if you create a wealth you also own it Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stable coins, metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.